Hello dear fans, friends, subscribers, welcome to this cricket happenings. Well, this cricket happenings is going to be uh, without any cricket match played. Uh, well, I can I can say that it's going to be a short cricket happening show. The reason being uh, the, 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 the final test match between India and the West Indies uh, ended in a 2-0 in, uh, India series victory uh, as uh, as the fourth test match uh, went off in a very drab fashion as even if the rain was not fo falling and the sun was shining brightly uh, the play couldn't take place and finally as you know four days play was washed out and that was it as far as the test series was concerned uh, India winning the series 2-0 and also uh, by, by, by this match not going the whole hog uh, as you know, India had to actually win this test match to actually consolidate their ICC test ranking number one. They failed in that, unfortunately, but not to their own mistake, but it's due to the nature, forces of nature, one could say. And Pakistan now are ranked as the, uh, uh, became the, um, uh, uh, got the test ranking of number one, according to ICC. And uh, this is a proud moment for Pakistan because as I said, Pakistan have never got uh, the top ranking in the ICC test rankings. And today they will, they, I'm sure the Pakistan will be very proud uh, that even though a lot of cricket is not being played as Ms. Baul Haq, uh, the Pakistan captain mentioned that uh, Pakistan have been falling short of so much cricket uh, that uh, definitely uh, they, they were definitely at a disadvantage. One has to definitely agree because uh, you know home crowd, home support, it all matters. And uh, since no matches are being played in Pakistan, um, I, I think uh, Pakistan, even though uh, because uh, as I said, if India had actually won this Test match, that would have been a good contest. Uh, but uh, still credit to Pakistan as uh, they actually usurped India. So India was pushed to the second spot, uh, and India. I uh, was pushed to the second point and Pakistan now occupy the top ranking uh, as far as uh, ICC test rankings are concerned and also this is for the first time that Pakistan have achieved uh, at ICC test ranking number one. So that is as far as uh, that is concerned. So this was the effect that this particular series had uh, on uh, the ICC test rankings as far as India were concerned. Now also uh, a similar thing followed uh, as far as Kingsmead Durban is concerned. Now that is very sad. It was the start of the test series and uh, Dale Steen on that day really bowling superbly. One was looking forward to see Dale Steen um, um, bowl but unfortunately that didn't happen. And uh, a similar story prevailed the Kingsmead Durban too. Uh, with Even though the sun shining they couldn't do much and uh, the play was called off. So, so again that is also turning out into a really really drab affair there as with no play possible. So all these two matches are uh, done and dusted, it's all over but for India West Indies Test Series is over. So what I'm going to do is it gives me an opportunity today uh, to have a look at the, uh, I will I will try to have a look at a few things but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this um, India uh, West Indies Test Series and to see uh, as to what the both the teams gained uh, in playing this Test Series. Uh, so let's uh, have a look at the uh, India uh, test team as I am just uh, uh, having a look at it right now and uh, well as far as the man of the series was uh, concerned uh, it went to um, Ravi Chandran Ashwin for, for being the man of the ma man of the series and why not he bowled uh, splendidly uh, and then uh, as far and man of the match you know there was nothing to really give the man of the match as you all know um, Virat Kohli got the series trophy Ashwin uh, got the man of the series award uh, so that is as far as uh, uh, the presentations were concerned now let's have a look at this uh, as to what uh, West Indies so let's looking at this West Indies team uh, what was the gain the, the good gain for West Indies according to me uh, was uh, the uh, was this new player Roston Chase uh, who really uh, did something that uh, probably Gary Sobers did it probably 80 years back uh, by Roston Chase when he not only scored a century and stalled the Indian bowlers to take the uh, take the West Indian team to a really, really miraculous draw one could say and Roston Chase was the hero not only with the century and with the way he played and also after that he also picked up five wickets with his office. So definitely 
Uh, Roston Chase is someone who has arrived for the West Indies as a wonderful all-rounder. Anybody who can go and imitate Sir Garfield Sobers, the former uh, great legend, West Indies legend Sir Garfield Sobers, uh, should, uh, should definitely be uh, someone uh, who could have a bright future. Uh, as far as uh, other things were concerned, I thought uh, Shane Dowrich, the wicketkeeper batsman uh, who came uh, ahead of Ramadan in the sense he was uh, preferred in place of Dinesh Ramadan, uh, I thought Shane Dowrich also played well according to me. He contributed a few very good knocks and uh, in a particular match, in that uh, match against uh, India, uh, he combined very well with uh, Roston Chase uh, to stall the Indians and also played some very good strokes. Uh, as far as uh, the bowling was concerned, Alzari Joseph, who was uh, unveiled in the third test match, uh, definitely proved uh, that he is going to be some sort of a force uh, tomorrow, even though he didn't play in the fourth test match. But given a p pitch where it is going to give some assistance, I think Alzari Joseph with his height uh, really showed that it was, uh, it was not that in, only that is in the Under-19 World Cup he did well. Uh, against the Indians, he picked up some important wickets. Uh, First, he picked up Virat Kohli with uh, beautifully testing him, and then he picked up the wicket of Rohit Sharma. So Alzari and he picked up three wickets in all. So Alzari Joseph is someone which we are going to hear in West Indies cricket for sure. So that is another game that they had. Uh, Miguel Cummins, uh, who was uh, struggling with this, uh, I mean, he had not taken a single wicket, got his wicket, but uh, definitely Miguel Cummins, I thought, uh, uh, profited a bit by the from the Indians, I would say, but uh, definitely Miguel Cummins uh, also bowled well. So he is also someone. Uh, who would be uh, bowling for the West Indies. And Shannon Gabriel, you know, he's a good bowler. He, he really showed that he had some real good uh, burning pace uh, as far as uh, bowling is concerned. And, um, uh, and other than that, uh, well, uh, I, I thought uh, Darren Bravo really, really failed in this series. Uh, he couldn't really, and that was the big problem for the West Indies, that um, Darren Bravo definitely... Uh, did not show his uh, real, uh, real uh, skill, uh, real color there, which was very unfortunate. Uh, and also Marlon Samuels could not do much, so that really went against the West Indies because uh, I thought Darren Bravo and Marlon Samuels were the ones uh, who were the sort of the ones who had to carry the West Indies forward in the absence of uh, some big names. Uh, but uh, Marlon Samuels uh, uh, could not do it. And but as I said, these are the gains for the West Indies. Uh, Roston Chase, according to me, and uh, Alzari Joseph are the ones uh, who are going to uh, be talked about. In the sense, they are the ones who are going to be, uh, uh, one is going to hear about them uh, in the future West Indies uh, test matches for sure. Uh, very good talent, uh, according to me. And uh, let's have a look at the uh, Indian team. Uh, well, as far as the Indian team was concerned, uh, I would say uh, KL Rahul, yes, he definitely played well, no doubt about it. Ajinkya Rahane got a century under his belt. Uh, and uh, Riddhiman Shah, according to me, uh, was the biggest, uh, uh, not a surprise, a biggest uh, gain for India because after the absence of uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni, uh, I thought Riddhiman Shah played a good hand and he also showed what a good crisis man he is. He came in when the chips were down and he combined with Ashwin to put up a beautiful partnership. He also got his maiden test done. Yes, let's not forget the man of the series, Ravi Chandran Ashwin. Uh, I mean, showing increasing um, abilities as an all-rounder now and that is going to be great news for India and he has notched up four centuries in his career and all the four centuries have been scored against the West Indies so uh, Ashwin also got the man who is truly deserted uh, also with his bowling so he put an all-round performance and made sure that no one else could get the man of the series uh, such was his performance it was brilliant according to me uh, and uh, we saw Mohamed Shami come back bowl well so I think uh, Ritiman Sah and uh, Ashwin's uh, much improved batting uh, were the big gains for India, no doubt about it. Uh, well, dear fans, uh, that is as far as uh, the, uh, this uh, particular uh, review is concerned uh, of this India-West Indies uh, test series uh, that happened. Uh, just had a few pointers to make here. And um, as far as, uh, as I said, Sah and Ashwin, and that's what Kohli also said, he, he praised uh, Sah and Ashwin. Um, uh, and also uh, the other news uh, that I can uh, really talk about, I'm just trying to see uh, whether there is any other news. Yes, I hear that uh, the all-rounder uh, David Willey, uh, who was uh, supposed to be unfit for the um, uh, game against Pakistan in the first match of the one-day series, uh, has decided uh, he did not fracture the left hand, so the, the fracture is ruled out. So, so basically, 
uh, it seems that um, Willie is back into the mix and he would be could be considered and also another news which I could like to share uh, this is we are talking about the pink ball but not pink ball in test matches pink ball in domestic matches and India are going to do the first segment they did it in a, a, a Saurav Ganguly the former uh, Indian skipper uh, actually experimented that in his hometown uh, which was a success in a very local match and now India are taking this a step further uh, to actually have an experiment uh, with the pink ball but uh, normally India does not play with the kookaburra ball they have gone for the Australian ball the pink kookaburra ball and um, it's going to be interesting it's going to be the Dulip Trophy uh, which is going to be played with the pink ball so that is going to be pretty interesting so we're going to see some pink ball cricket in India in the domestic tourneys and they're going to start up the start up with the experiment the experiment has already been done in local matches uh, but now they are getting on to some uh, real serious matches here so on the Dulip Trophy uh, they are going to experiment with the pink ball which will be the pink took over Australian ball which would be used so that is another news that I wanted to share well dear fan subscribers I said this is a very short cricket show today not much of cricket to really talk about hope you all uh, loved this cricket broadcast of mine more to come tomorrow on my next cricket happening so if at all uh, play resumes at uh, at uh, the Kingsmead in Durban and if at all anything else is there I'll be definitely covering it thanks for your company as always uh, this is your host Ram uh, saying uh, good night. Thank you.